Hello. <coughs> Come on in. Welcome to my channel. Yes, this is your queen, Amazing Grace. Coming to you again with the word of encouragement. Coming back off vacation. I enjoyed myself, I did, in the Lord. Yes, we all have to take a break. Even Jesus Christ went to the mountain to be alone. So yes, he knows we need to be by ourselves sometimes. Yes, and to go off and pray to him by ourselves or just to have fun, smell the roses. Come on in, you guys. I just want to share a word with you on today. And uh, welcome back to those that follow me and share my content. It's good to to be here on today. I give God all the glory. I declare and decree that he is the head of my life. And I seek him with my whole mind, heart, and soul. Yes. And I just want to give somebody some experience, strength, and hope today that if he did it for me, save me, a little over wrench like me. I often say I was close to peeing in my pants as, a, as an alcoholic. Yes, I'm, I'm an alcoholic. I'm a delivering, a delivered alcoholic and addict. I just have today though, one day at a time. So come on in. Anybody out there struggling? <coughs> <coughs> The first step you got to take is knowing that you have lost yourself and you are not, this is not you. And you have to make it up in your mind to look yourself in the mirror and say, I have a drinking or drug problem, or I got a gambling problem, or I got an eating problem, or a sex problem, sex problem, whatever it is that you're addicted to. And it's got, a grip on you and it's you losing you those are called addictions strongholds and I don't know about you but I need I had to go to the Lord to get those demons and spirits off of me because that's what happens when you're you know uh, doing things God tells us not to be gluttony and greedy the seven deadly sins are pride, gluttony, envy, uh, greedy, sloth, wrath, and I uh, think I said envy, but pride. So you have to be careful of all those. Um, going over could cause you to, Satan to jump on, the spirit to jump on you, I suppose. But. I'm delivered, and I have to keep on asking God to deliver me. Yeah, temptation. It's delivering from uh, me. And uh, don't go nowhere that I may be tempted to drink or do drugs. He tells me to come from among them and to stay in his word, to meditate on his word day and night, go to church, listen to gospel music, and it puts a hedge of protection around you. No evil force. Satan don't like gospel. You want to get rid of Satan and all his partners? Pull out your Bible and turn on some gospel. And you out there on your yard, and it's a whole yard full of folks out there doing everything in the sun, whatever they're doing. Pull that Bible out and turn on that gospel music. Won't nobody be out there with the uh, ants in nature. You, the Lord, in the dirt, in the grass. They don't want to be nowhere around that. Uh, who was that? Uh, Superman. Some of that stuff that he would put on himself and without it, he didn't have no power. You know what? I hope y'all do. But anyway, that's how light and darkness it does not do well they hate light and light hate darkness 
That's just how it is. Jesus Christ is light. And Satan and his minions is dark. dark. That's the dark kingdom. But Jesus said, take up your cross and follow him. For he is the way to go. He the truth, the way, and the life. And that's the narrow road. The wide road is drinking, cussing, stealing, lying, cheating on your wife, your husband, gossiping, greedy, laziness. Uh, it's a whole list. Uh, Two-faced it. Yeah, let's throw that in there. Sitting in somebody's face and pretending you love them. And as soon as you have that person's face, you're going to talk about them bad. God sees all that you, we do. Each and every soul, he sees us all. And you have will have your pay for everything you do. And I'm preaching to you guys while I'm preaching to myself. So I have to watch what I do, watch what I say, watch what I hear, watch where I go to keep my soul clean. Because the old lady dead. I buried her when I got baptized. She the one almost peed her pants. She didn't have, she poor baby had been through a lot. So I'm not here to judge nobody, you know. I drank for many reasons. One thing, I didn't know who I was. And I always felt unloved and I felt like Joseph. You know, my own family trying to seem to kill me. I never belonged anywhere. The parties, they never invited me, you know. So all that stuff, it just plays on you. And you know, I never bothered nobody. I was always spreading sunshine and you know, I ain't gonna give you a piece of my candy bar. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Back then, I love sweets, and I do lo love them today. But you, I've eaten so much of it to the, give me a touch of uh, what is the diabetes. So no. Now I'm on the road to eating right. I uh, today I had me. Uh, I don't know. I just make up meals from time to time. But I have me some raw spinach, baby spinach, and I folded them over into some stew beef and rice. Then I had broccoli in it too, and a little little bit of soy sauce. And I just stirred it all together. It's, it's healthy. So I'm staying away from salt and sugar, even coffee. I'm just trying to live uh, a healthier life. You know, you can hurt yourself just as well with food as you can with alcohol and drugs. So, I've hurt myself with a lot of things and you switch one drug for another. I gave up the drugs and then I started replacing it slowly but surely, maybe with food. So now I'm trying to do all that, uh, undo the damage that I did to myself. Uh, knowing my triggers, staying away from people that know how to push my buttons and things. I suggest y'all learn that too. For some people, it's sent to get you on balance. So once you get on balance, you'll go back to your vice. If you stay clear of them and learn your 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 uh, triggers, it won't work. God says, resist the devil, and he'll flee. So once you learn your triggers, this for me, once I learned what would make me unbalanced and who would do that, I stay away from them. They look for me right there. They, oh, why you don't? Because I know who sent you. And you want me to fall out of grace. My God loved me. You want to be where I'm at. If I hang around you, I lose my seat. So I'm going to take the, the road down. I'm going to take the wiser walk down the road. Closing the door to you. Praying about it. Lifting you up to God. 
putting you in, you and I both, in God's hand, and say, Lord, I got to close this door. You do, you you close it or, or leave it open. You make the decision. But I say, Lord, it ain't good for me. They provoke me. It's a sin to provoke somebody. So if you ain't got good intentions, you need to examine yourself. See what you do in relationships. You may be causing a lot of the problems. Own up to what you do. And a whole lot of people will be happier. And maybe a few more or less people be in the graves. Nobody want to count, take accountable for some of the stuff that they do. You go around starting trouble, spreading lies and gossiping. You know that's going to start a whole lot of mess. Why would you do it? Well, you're going to get your pay for that. You're going to go off and try to get a job. Door won't open. Need to make money to feed your family. Can't get a dollar. You curse yourself. You won't have to suffer for that. I'm, I'm just sharing spirit, spirit, strength, and hope. So just watch what you do and say and how you treat people. And that's my nugget for the day. And I pray that somebody got something out of that. Stop blaming people. Look at yourself. And you'll be more freer to walk in the presence of God. You won't run from him, but you'll run to him. Because you, you, you have to cry out to him. Say, Lord, I need you, first of all. My life messed up. I've messed up. And he'll open, he'll receive you with open arms. But he knowing you're lying and when you're not. So call him when you're really ready. He there. And I just want to share that with you. And tell you he loves you. And I love you too. God bless you guys. Bye for now.